All right, so we can rewrite the equation one more way. So I just told you that delta G naught is equal to minus RT natural log of K. So we can substitute into the expression minus uh, RT natural log of K. And now we can rearrange this equation. And so if we rearrange it, we have delta G, the delta G at any particular point in uh, the reaction equals RT natural log of Q over K. And this equation is helpful for people if they're thinking about what is the equilibrium constant, what uh, concentrations do I have now? We're not at equilibrium. What concentrations do I have now? What is Q now in the reaction? How does that compare to K? And when you know what those values are, you'll know something about the direction of the reaction because you'll know if delta G is positive or negative. It'll be spontaneous in the forward direction or in the reverse direction. So this is a handy equation for thinking about the relationship Q, K, delta G. So let's think about that relationship for a minute. If Q is less than K, what is the sign of delta G? So it will be negative, which means the, re the uh, forward direction of the reaction will occur. So if you think about it, uh, you can think about it in terms of products and reactants. So at equilibrium, then, if, if, if uh, Q is less than K at equilibrium, there are more products than there are right now, so you need to make more products. So you would have delta G would be negative. You'll see that mathematically. And you can think about it in terms of whether you're going to make more products or less products. If Q is greater than K, what is delta G? So it would be positive, and the reverse direction would occur. So you think that at Q, if it's larger than K, it has more products in its terms. And at equilibrium, there are less products. So you need to go in a direction that will get rid of some of those products so you'll reach equilibrium again. So this equation is very helpful in thinking about the direction of the reaction. Which direction will it be spontaneous? 